Welcome to our lecture online. So let's do another example of how to calculate the instantaneous and the average power. Here we're given the following two equations, the instantaneous voltage and the instantaneous current as a function of time. Also notice that this is the equation we use the instantaneous power is equal to the product of the instantaneous current and the instantaneous voltage. And notice that gives us a constant term which ends up being the average power and then we have the oscillating portion, which then oscillates about the line that's equal to the average power, which then gives us the instantaneous power. So let's go ahead and calculate these. First of all, I guess I should just write max here. Um, let's go ahead and find the average power right here. Well, we'll just get, go ahead and get the whole equation. So the power as a function of time is equal to 1 half times I max. I max is 4 and V max is 200. And then we multiply that times the cosine times the difference of the two angles. And notice the two phase angles are equal to each other. So we have 30 degrees minus 30 degrees, which ends up being the cosine of zero. And then we have plus one half times I max, which is four, V max, which is 200, times the cosine of twice omega t. Now omega is 10, so twice that would be 20 times t and then plus the sum of the two phase angles. That's 30 degrees plus another 30 degrees. So notice here that this now will represent the constant portion of the instantaneous power, which is also the average power. So this is equal to 1 half times 4, which is 2, times 200, which is 400. And the units will be watts, because the cosine of 0 is 1. And then we have this, that would be plus 1 half times 4 times 200, which is again 400, times the cosine of 20t plus 60 degrees, and that's also going to be in watts. So this here is the power average, and the sum of the two gives us the instantaneous power. And then if we want to graph that to see what that looks like, so this would be the power as a function of time. This is time. The average power is right here. That would be P average. And then the oscillatory part. Now notice we have a phase angle of 6 degrees. That would shift things to the right a little bit. So probably looks something like this. So that's the sinusoidal function sits squarely on top of the average, uh, average power. The maximum value here would be equal to the average power plus the maximum amplitude, so that would be 800 watts at the top. Average power is 400 watts, and that would be 0 watts at the bottom. So you can see that the instantaneous power will oscillate between 0 and 800 watts, and the average power is 400 watts. And that's how we do that.